Hey guys, it's Crystal, and this is going to be a really quick video update. It's actually not even going to be a real update like I normally do. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not in the normal meeting rooms that I'm in when I'm filming these at work. I'm actually at home because I work the day today, and I haven't quite found a secondary place to film my videos. So if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments. I would love some ideas from you guys. Anything in the Flint Grand Blank area would be fantastic as long as it has good lighting and good sound. I'm happy. Anyway, this video is actually more of a rebuttal to the suspension of Justin Abdelkader, the Red Wings player that was suspended yesterday for two games in the playoffs for his hit on Ludeman of the Anaheim Ducks. Now, a lot of people have been talking about this all over the area, across the nation, across parts of Canada even, even though sometimes they're a little bit distracted with that whole Senators cap Habs thing that was happening. I don't really know what happened there. I was too busy watching Iron Man again. But um, basically... There was a quote-unquote nasty hit by Abdicator on Tony Ludeman of the Anaheim Ducks. He seemed to have left his feet. It's very hard to tell if he left his feet before or after he actually made contact with said player. But basically, there's a lot of things you have to look at here. This is such a hot topic right now, and I feel like it really shouldn't be. I feel like we go through this every couple of months or so. There's a bad hit. Hosa was just out for how many games, how many months? Not too long ago because of a nasty hit on him by Rafi Torres. So why is it that we're constantly looking at these hits and wondering, was it a bad hit? Was it a clean hit? Seems like it should be kind of cut and dry on one hand. On the other hand, you never know. The technology of the NHL right now is so advanced compared to the quote old time hockey that a lot of people have been bringing up when it comes to hits like this. Old time hockey, this would have been fine. Old time hockey, this wouldn't have been fine at all, depending on who you talk to. What I'm saying right now is between the ice technology, the new skates that are coming out every month or so by Bauer and everybody else, you have brand new skates that are making these players even faster. Not only that, but the product, the players themselves are faster. Nobody's going to argue that Justin Abdicator is one of the fastest guys in the NHL. If you look at that video, he started out way, way, way back in the back of the ice and he just gained so much momentum with nothing there to stop him except for Ludeman. Now, personally, this is my personal opinion. I do not claim to be an expert at all. I do not claim to be in Brendan Shanahan's shoes at all, nor would I want to be after this weekend. What I am saying as a very long time hockey fan, I'm not going to say lifetime because I didn't start watching until I was about eight or nine. Um, what I am saying as a fan who watched the game, to me, it seemed as though Justin Abdicator, I'm probably going to call him Abby because saying his last name so many times is starting to become a tongue twister. To me, Abby did not leave his feet until he actually made contact with um, Ludeman, or Ludeman, however you pronounce his name, because it doesn't look like it's spelled how it's pronounced. Anyway, to me, it looks like it wasn't until he actually made contact that he left his feet. That is a huge point to make. You cannot leave your feet and then hit the other player. You can leave your feet upon contact, which I am almost certain based on what I saw is what happened. Now, I am not a physicist. I do not know exactly what happened. He was going so fast that even our technology right now, it's hard to tell when you slow down the video when he actually left his feet. But if you know anything about physics, which I know not too much about. I think I took one class on it in high school. If you know anything about physics, a moving object will keep moving until it is hit by something else or until it hits something else. Don't know the exact terminology for it. All I remember is that part. Anyway, to me, it looked like Abby did not leave his feet until he actually made contact. Now, a lot of people are out there saying, well, he was planning on making contact. He was going at that with intent. Probably, everybody's saying, oh, well, he probably meant to hurt somebody. He probably wanted to get this guy hurt. I don't think now anybody really wants to hurt anybody else. Everybody who is playing in the playoffs right now has worked extremely hard in the shortened season to get where they are. I don't think anybody wants to really go out there and intentionally hurt somebody so bad. Here's the other point. Abby is not a rookie. He's not exactly the smartest guy out there on the ice, but he's not the stupidest either. So I don't think he would intentionally go out and make a hit 
which to me looked like a simple charging call. If he knew that he was going to get a suspension, let alone a five minute penalty, which could have led to Lord only knows how many power play goals for the Ducks. I honestly do not think that that's what he meant to do. He said it himself, which if he said that he did mean to hurt the guy, then obviously he's definitely not the smartest guy on the ice because nobody would intentionally say, yeah, I definitely meant to hurt the guy. Nobody would say that. Now, here's the other point. Everybody knows that when you are playing in the NHL playoffs, the spotlight is on you tenfold. With everything that's been going on, the Sidney Crosby injury, every other injury that we've heard of this season, everybody knows that every quote unquote nasty hit is going to be looked at, especially in the NHL playoffs. For crying out loud, everybody's watching you, especially when your team is on a record setting playoff run. Everybody's watching you. Why would you make an intentionally nasty hit, which could potentially get you a game suspension or two like we actually saw? Why would you do that intentionally? Nobody would do that intentionally on any team. Probably not even Montreal and Ottawa, but that's, like I said, a whole different story. I don't know what is going on over there in Eastern Canada. If you do, please let me know. Back to Abby. I think it's a huge blow to the Red Wings. Abby knew that DeKaiser was out. DeKaiser was so hot for the Red Wings. We really needed him. We really needed Abby. We needed him to put pressure on the net. We needed him to push bodies around and let everybody on the other teams know that we weren't here to be messed around with. But I do not think he would intentionally put himself in that situation to leave his feet before hitting Ludman and then end up getting suspended for that. He wouldn't do that to the team. He wouldn't do that to the fans. I think it was a bad call. I think you do have to make an uh, example out of it because Ludman is out. You don't want somebody to get hurt and then have the person who hurt them just be able to play and perhaps continue on in the playoffs while their guy is sitting on the bench because he can't play. That being said, a one-game suspension would have been much, much more reasonable. You're making your point. You are showing Anaheim that you're not going to put up with, quote-unquote, nasty hits like that. You're making an example of Abdulkader by saying that, but you're not being so incredibly harsh without having complete proof that he had both blades off the ice when he made contact by giving a two-game suspension. If the Red Wings do not win tonight, everybody's probably going to blame it on Abdicator's suspension and the huge blow that it gave to the team morale. Because let's face it, it is a blow. As if DeKaiser breaking his thumb wasn't a big enough blow, now you have Abdicator, who is one of the quote-unquote young guns that we have on the team. It's bad enough that we have DeKaiser out with a broken thumb, but now you have Abby out for the next two games, and what are we supposed to do? I mean, it's a huge blow mor to the morale of the team. It's a huge blow to the morale of the fans. So... That is my two cents. I would love to hear what you have to say because, as I said before, this is a huge topic in the area. Everybody has their own two cents on it. Some say it was a clean hit. Some say it was a dirty hit. I want to hear from fans. I want to hear from players. I want to hear from refs. I want to hear from everybody and let, you, let me know what you have to say about this topic. Leave your comments down below. Let's start some discussion. Let's hear what everybody has to say. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm actually filming this <laughs> during intermission right now, so... Hopefully by the time the game is over, this is up and you guys can concentrate on what you have to say about the suspension by Shanahan. Again, Shanahan was a busy guy over the weekend. I would not want to be in his shoes right now. He's definitely earning his multi-million dollar paycheck. Um, and again, if you have anything to say about the Senators-Habs game, please let me know. Um, I know there were a lot of missing teeth. I know that the dentists around Eastern Canada are being extremely busy this week. But um, let me know about whatever it is that you have to say about that as well. But primarily, let's talk about the applicator suspension. And I will see you guys next time.